You're about to see and hear one of the largest and most powerful acoustic musical instruments in existence. Some of you may remember when they were a dominant force in popular entertainment. Others may have only heard about it or just discovered it. But because we can't take you behind the scenes to see what makes it work, this short video will help explain just what a theatre organ is, how it operates and what makes it different to its other giant cousins, the church and classical organs. Here we see young Brisbane concert artist David Bailey playing some music from The Lion King at a recent concert here. He's playing an instrument that was made and operating more than half a century before he was born and intended to play quite a different repertoire. Here's one of America's original players replicating the way it used to be. He's accompanying a Stan Laurel silent comedy of the 1920s. Englishman Robert Hope Jones and the American Wurlitzer brothers had seen the need to use new technology and radical changes to classical pipe organ sounds to play the new music of the end of the 19th and the 20th centuries. And they added ranks of instruments to be able to replicate the sounds of orchestras to accompany the new silent movies and later the popular bands of those times. And soon they were everywhere, including in Australian cities and many suburbs. When talkies came, they still provided live supporting entertainment when going to the flicks was a big night out. <laughs> Our Wurlitzer was just like that and spent more than 30 years in the Prince Edward Theatre in central Sydney and was famously played by the charismatic Noreen Hennessy for much of that time. So what makes a theatre organ different? Behind those two grills, high up at the front of the hall, you'll find the same kind of metal pipes that any organ has. There are many different groups called ranks, each with its own sound. Theatre organs were mostly made obsolete for their original roles by the decline of the larger cinemas when TV arrived. The electric guitar also signalled the start of new ways to produce great big sounds. But theatre organs didn't disappear completely. There were many who recognised that these instruments had a legitimate and unique place in the musical spectrum with sounds that not even the best sound sampling technology can truly replicate. And in the restored theatres, town halls, high school auditoriums and grand residences where they now reside, faithfully restored and enhanced, skilled musicians have a means of expanding their talent. Some other pipes are made from wood as seen here. These give that familiar mellow sound. The distinctive tremolo is provided by tremulant boxes that pulsate the air flowing to the pipes. Now, instead of the banal background role they once had, Theatre organs are an ultimate concert instrument to extend the skills of their players and present audiences with a myriad of sounds that can encompass any musical genre. And yes, quite a few are being reinstalled in theatres like the Regent in Melbourne and the Cremorne Orpheum here in Sydney. And here are some of the other real percussion instruments with xylophones, glockenspiels, chimes, snares and bass drums and cymbals, orchestral music of all kinds can be performed. Then there are the raft of novelty effects that were needed to provide the sounds of sleigh bells, horses' hooves, train whistles, bells and sirens for the silent movies. This magnificent old town hall auditorium was made available by a far-sighted Marrickville Council and is, in fact, regarded by players from all over the world as one of the best locations in existence. Together, these ranks of instruments enabled the player to replicate the sounds of the orchestras, bands and even jazz combos, and now, much of today's music too. Here these are being tuned and checked before a performance. Doesn't sound so flash in the hands of our maintenance crew, but when another young virtuoso, Jelani Eddington from the USA, takes over, it all comes together. 
he's playing a selection from the opera Carmen at a recent concert here. And our own David Smith lives right here in Marrickville. One of Australia's most accomplished exponents of all keyboard music, he experiments with some much more modern stuff and adds some other instruments with amazing results. The organ can be used for almost any kind of music and has a sound potential that exceeds the electronic power of many contemporary bands. And we have another Wurlitzer from the Capitol Theatre in the Orion Centre at Campsie where renowned pianist and organist Tony Fenelon plays a duet with himself. Adding a computer allows him to play the organ accompaniment earlier and then exactly replicate the performance while he takes to the piano. And the same, or similar, pipes and instruments make it possible. The Orion Chambers are under the stage. The audience experience is slightly different, but the quality of the music and sound is comparable. Another young performer, Ryan Heggie, has his partner Michelle Nicole to play piano duets with. But if she's unavailable, that's no problem. There's an actual piano operated from the organ keyboard. And if Ryan doesn't show up, well, Michelle can play the world it's a two. In fact, both have won Australian and American Young Talent Awards. For them, Theatre Organ has been a passport to international success. Australia has produced many other players that have achieved prominence and concert tour careers. Theatre Organ has provided them with international fame that playing only piano may not have. So, as we rejoin David Bailey and Can You Feel the Love Tonight, come and hear some of our members and artists play. Maybe you'd like to attend one of our monthly concerts here or at Campsie. And hear the majestic sound of the Theatre Organ and see why we love it. Thank you.